Hailing back from the days of Metarod DS in 2010, this cheerleading daffodil type stands as a testament to the generation's rather unique art style and designs. It is DFL0 Sakura Chan Z, with the kit of Repair Plant, Cooler, Heater, Bloat Legs, and the Leg Ability of Adversity, which buffs all leg stats, minus armor and heavy limit, for every debuff applied to self. Now, as a model available in Metarot S's permanent banner, Sakura Chan Z is one of those models that you're going to look at and say, honestly, what do I do with you? You don't really look like you bring a lot to the table, and you honestly look really derpy. And, to be completely honest, you're 100% right. It is also worth noting that Sakura Chan Z is also a gender end type bot, which means for a strictly support based model, you can essentially fit the parts anywhere on female or male teams with good flexibility. Repair Plant on the head is a setup based skill that, once activated, will very passively restore a little bit of HP over time to each ally that finishes their turn. Now this certainly won't amount to much per part on the, at the end of each turn, and it will expire after a certain number of triggers, but if you can't quite fit HP restoration on a team, but you are able to keep all your parts active and alive and not broken, this is a pretty solid way to kind of passively restore or bring back some of that HP, as long as you don't get hammered faster than you lose it, faster than you're recovering it. Right Arm of Cooler is a support based skill that once activated will buff the cooldown stat of itself and all allies by 50%. And the same can be said for the left arm of Heater which will buff everyone's heat stat by 50%. Now these two by themselves may not seem like too much at first glance, but just as a reminder heat and cool determine how fast you run to the line or from the line as you take your turns. So the higher the value, the faster you run, and the easier it is for you to outrun opponents without relying on your base mobility of your legs. Bloat legs means that Sakura Chanzi will have relatively solid coverage across all terrains at A rank across the board, and the leg ability of adversity is a rather interesting choice for a very strictly support based model like this one, given that this one relies solely on having ailments applied to it. That can include Deathlock, fire, uh, fire, Melt, uh, Bug, Freeze, anything of the like that is a lasting ailment that'll stick around. The more of those that Sakura Chanzi has applied to itself, the faster it gets, the more dodgy it becomes, and the, and the easier it is for it to reduce incoming damage. In terms of armor department, Sakura Chanzi is actually moderately tanky, especially as a gender N type, with a head HP of about 3350, arms about 3600 each and the legs at 3400 as well not too shabby overall and a pretty healthy hp pool there especially since it can fit pretty much any situation no matter where you need it its leg stats are kind of all over the place though albeit they are well rounded for where they tend to sit a mobility of 731 is actually not too shabby um kind of in that upper upper tier of where float legs tend to sit at um, an, evade, an evade of 1043 isn't too shabby either, as it does mean that by itself, this daffodil type will have a pretty decent time dodging or grazing incoming attacks. But it does sadly have a melee resist of 746 and a shoot resist of 805. Now, even though those numbers are pretty close together, which means objectively it is a pretty well-rounded leg, the numbers themselves are still rather low. And it does mean that without any extra modifiers boosting these numbers, the Staffodil type is going to be rather hard pressed for damage reduction. And it's going to be relying rather heavily on terrain mastery and meta rotter bonuses to try to keep that damage reduction as high as possible. It is, however, worth noting that the legs can support up to two heavy parts. And given that Sakura Chan's models are not, none of its parts are considered heavy, those are basically free slots. That being said, as a pure set score, I still do sadly have to rate Sakura Chanzi a pretty flat 4.5 out of 10. Now, this is not to say objectively it's a bad model or certainly not worth using. I'm most certainly not saying that. Heater, Cooler, and Repair Plant actually can stack on top of each other as, as added bonuses. Heater and Cooler especially you'll see most immediately, and Repair Plant you may not see super often unless you plan to slap it on the field, but you do have to very carefully exercise caution if the enemy is using effect clear, because Sakura Chan kind of relies on all these effects to be active, and if someone comes in and forcibly removes those, you're going to get punished for having all those buffs. As mixed parts, I do very easily have to rate Sakura Chan Z just a little higher at a 5 out of 10, and 
depending on the situation, you could probably argue me successfully into a 5.5, maybe even a 6 to some points too. Even though heater and cooler you may not use super often unless a super invasion or a modifier requires you to use support parts, and repair plant is probably going to be mostly non-existent in terms of how often you see it, the legs are probably going to be the most useful part on it. Given that it's not only a gender N type, meaning male and female tin pets can use it freely, but the fact that even if its stats are well rounded, it can support two heavy parts by itself, and if you are able to exercise caution when it comes to taking incoming hits, there's still actually a pretty solid leg you really can't ever go wrong with using.